Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have another pen for review here, and this is a pen out of my personal collection. Uh, this, as you can see here, is a pelican. So it says moments of joy. So it comes in this uh, box here, quite a nice box that pelican come in. And if I lift the lid here, I will show you the pen uh, in its all its glory. Uh, but first, you get a moments of joy catalog, which basically shows a number of things. So you see the uh, pelican uh, logos and how they've changed over the year. You see some other pelican models. So uh, you've got the Toledo, you've got uh, the uh, Ductus, and you've got the Suvon, as well as some others as well. So you've got this whole catalog here. Uh, and then you have a, a guarantee booklet, a warranty booklet, which uh, really just goes through the guarantee that you have uh, for uh, each of the pelican pens. And then you have the pen itself. So this is a, if I just remove this from the bed, uh, I will put this back on again. Uh, and then you can see uh, the pen in all its glory. So this is the Pelican M805. And this is the Ocean Swirl. So this is a pen that came out a number of years ago from Pelican. If I just remove the box out of the way so you don't see the reflection there, you'll see the beauty of this pen. So this is a beautiful, beautiful chatoyance that's going on there in this pen. Now, there are light and dark areas of that pen. So you can see here the beautiful lightness there, the chatoyance going on. Uh, but then you will see, obviously, dark areas of the pen as well as light areas. And that is obviously signifying the, the ocean, where you do see varying dark and, and light areas of the ocean. Uh, now, it, this is an M805, so you've got the Pelican logo there. Uh, you've got uh, rhodium silver-coloured trim there. So it's not an M800, it's an M805. You also have here, it says, uh, Germany, Pelican, Souverain. Uh, and this was a limited edition, and uh, this this was a pen that I picked up a while ago now, a couple of years ago, uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful material, and I just, that material is so captivating. Uh, I wish, honestly, Pelican would make more uh, M800s in this kind of material, because it really is beautiful. So if I unscrew the cap, you'll notice there it has a number six size Pelican 18 karat gold nib. Again, it's a, uh, a rhodium plated nib, even though it's a gold nib, and it's a broad nib there. Uh, you have the ABS plastic feed there as well. Uh, it is a piston filling pen. Uh, it's actually quite a nice size in my hand. Uh, I do actually like the, the size of, of the M800. I have a bunch of M800s now. I have uh, this one, I did uh, have a Grand Place. I still have, sorry, I had a Renaissance Brown uh, I, that I did sell. I've still got a Grand Place. I've got this Ocean Swirl, and I've got a Vibrant Blue. And then I have a Varden, uh, Gold Varden uh, version of the M800. Uh, and I do like this a lot. Uh, they, they are very, very good pens. Uh, can you post the cap? Yes, you can. Uh, the caps do post quite securely, so if you want to add a little bit of length to uh, that pen, you can do so. Uh, it is a really, really uh, nice size pen, though, and I, I have to say I do do like these a lot. Uh, Pelican have always been very good, robust pens, and I've always liked them for that. They they do have a, a decent mechanism, a piston mechanism. Uh, so they do hold around about a milliliter of ink. And yeah, they really, really do look the part for me as well. So uh, I do like these, and that's why I do have quite a few of these M800 or M805 models in my collection. Now, 
I think what we'll do is we'll do a size check, we'll do a weight check, we'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So the length of the pen, we are looking at 140 millimeters in length. The length of the cap, we're looking at 66 millimeters in length. And if I unscrew the cap, let's see if we can not have the pen run away. We will check the length of the body is about 128 millimeters in length. So that is bordering on an oversized pen, not quite, I would say. Normally from about 130 upwards would be an oversized pen. Now in terms of weight, this is uninked. We are looking at just under 29 grams in weight. And the weight of the cap, we're looking at 852 grams. And the weight of the body, we are looking at just under 18.7 grams. So it's quite a lightweight pen. It's not a extremely lightweight pen, but it is a pen that I do find actually has a really, really, really good balance in the hand. So I think with that, let's go and do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Visconti Homo Sapiens, and this is a Florentine Hills, a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli, a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Red Marble, a Visconti Divina Elegance in green, a Visconti Divina Elegance in brown. We have a Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Midnight in Florence, a Visconti Homo Sapiens Blue Lagoon, a Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra, uh, and this is in the Arco Verde, and we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra in the Black and Gold Luchans. So let's go and do a writing sample. So this is the Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. And it has a broad and it is an 18 cat gold nib. The ink in here today is uh, Akamon. And it is a uh, Bazudan uh, wood drawn which is quite a nice green ink. Now, in terms of line variation, let's take a look. I would say that we are getting about a, a broad, western broad line. Now, if I want to push that nib a little bit more, you can get a little bit more of a width out of it. So you can see there. But you can also see that there are no hard starts or skips on this nib whatsoever. Now, in terms of ink wetness, let's have a look. This is a broad nib. So you can see that, that this is quite a uh, wet writing nib. It's not a uh, nib uh, or a pen that is a fire hose nib, but it's actually quite a nice uh, wet writer. What do I like? What do I not like about this pen? Well, I love the Pelican M800 series of pens. I do like the M805 as well. Uh, I am a little bit more partial to the gold trim myself, uh, but I do equally like the rhodium trim. Uh, I absolutely love this material. Uh, the nib writes really well out of the box. Uh, there's no hard starts, no skips, and it just really does look lovely with that material there, the Chatoyance. So for me, this is actually a really, really uh, nice pen, and I was glad I was able to add this to my collection when I did. So that's my review of the Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl in a broad 18 karat gold nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.